Taking care of a loved ones at home is never easy, and it's even less so in a pandemic. Family caregivers face long hours without a break, which can lead to exhaustion and mental drain. The Taiwan Association of Family Caregivers is asking for government help during this difficult time. Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang visited the NGO to find out more. It's been more than a month since the government instated the Level 3 COVID alert in Taiwan. The restrictions are hard on everyone, but especially so for people who look after family members who are elderly, frail or ill. The Taiwan Association of Family Caregivers says the government should offer emergency respite services to help family caregivers. Although epidemic prevention is very important now, one thing that is also very important is emergency respite services. Epidemic prevention measures have limited the amount of manpower at long-term care institutions. But something that should also be considered when allocating workers is priority levels. Such a system could take into account the situation of family caregivers with a heavy burden, such as caregivers who don't have anyone to fill in for them or who are taking care of multiple people. We must look into whether these kinds of caregivers have adequate support, especially now that daycare centers are closed. The association says the Taiwan People's Food Bank Association has offered to help out by providing supplies to family caregivers in need. The food bank operates more than 150 community refrigerators all around Taiwan, which are stocked with supplies for family caregivers. Caregivers might have special needs for certain supplies right now, supplies that are different from what they usually need, particularly those who are in long-term care. They might need diapers, food and disinfecting materials. In addition, the association has launched a program to promote online interaction between caregivers and care experts. Its goal is to help family caregivers battle anxiety and isolation. After signing up online, caregivers are assigned to support groups comprised of four family caregivers and one professional caregivers who can offer support. In Taiwan, it's quite common for middle-aged and older family caregivers to rely on social media for daily life. So we launched this program, which puts five people into a line group so that they can serve as a support mechanism for one another. Family caregivers taking care of people with disabilities, with dementia, or with other physical and mental disabilities can join the scheme. They can sign up online or by calling us. After that, we'll match them up with one of our experts, like a social worker or a volunteer, so that it's four family caregivers to a group. We'll check up on them every day at 10 a.m. and at 4 p.m. If there are any problems, we will respond as fast as we can. According to a recent survey by Carers UK, 72% of caregivers reported having no breaks from their role during the pandemic, and 74% stated that they were exhausted as a result of caring. Some countries have put forward measures to make life easier for caregivers. Australia has launched an emergency respite service, as well as an online counseling platform. The UK eased movement and visit restrictions to allow household support bubbles so that members of more than one household can gather to help with care. Over in New Zealand, there are measures such as care packages and shopping assistance. Other countries have programs that allow caregivers to take paid leave. Experts say Taiwan should consider these kinds of measures to help family caregivers get through this tough period. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Tembohan in Taipei.